Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Welcome to the December 2023 channel update. It has been about two months since I've done an update. I didn't do one in October, nor did I do one in November. I mentioned in the September 30th update that I was going on break from making guides. Um, that has more or less stayed true. I did make a three guides for Mario RPG Remake uh, just because I kind of felt like it, uh, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, in that channel update in September, I mentioned that I was going on break for health reasons, spent a long time getting mentally healthier or more healthy mentally. I don't know how you want to phrase that. Spent a long time doing the therapy thing, getting over depression, dealing with a lot of issues. Uh, but I never really did the physical side of that coin. I just sort of like left the depression weight on. I didn't do much to like take care of myself. Sort of had a bit of like a nihilist view of life after my mom passed away because she was a health nut and did kind of everything right in a lot of ways uh, in terms of like physical health and exercising all the time and eating somewhat healthy. And then she died of cancer at 56. So it was just like, well, what's, what's the point here? Um, but then, you know, it got some of my own news from a doctor, which is like, Hey, you need to like start taking care of yourself. Um, and so in the past two months, I've lost very close to 25 pounds. I think I'm at 23 or 22 pounds as of, as of this morning. Uh, so about halfway to the goal of losing 50. Um, if I could lose like 35, that would be awesome. I'd be so thrilled to be back in the 220 range. That's sort of, I think like the healthiest I remember being is like 218. Um, I'm six foot. I'm somewhat of a bigger build. Like 210 is pretty healthy. 200 is probably like the healthiest that I should be. Um, you know, maybe 190, but that'll probably never happen. I feel like I'd be a rail at 190, but you never know. Anyway, Point being, halfway to the goal, and I'm really glad I've taken this time for myself. I feel really good. It's really just been a mix, like not to sound corny, but it's just like diet and exercise, and not even like conscious dieting, like counting calories or doing any sort of program. It's just making better choices for myself, and like I still don't eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. Um, I've never really been a breakfast person. I don't wake up really enough for breakfast, um, but then I'll do lunch, which will just be like a salad with maybe like salmon or chicken in it. And then maybe half a sandwich. If the sandwich looks good for the day at work, um, no soda, very rarely have soda, maybe like once a month ish, like pretty rarely. Although I had given that up a long time ago and I just started drinking seltzer, but I even sort of cut back on seltzer, uh, just cause it made me feel really bloated. Um, so I'd really just drink water these days, water, tea, and coffee. Um, so that'll be lunch. And then I don't really snack during the day. If I do, it'll be yogurt. Um, and then for dinner, I'll just have like whatever's on offer at work. Um, just a smaller portion. And then I try to at least three days a week play DDR at work, um, which has been very nice. It actually reminds me to add something to the list to talk about. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice. just like playing DDR a lot and like having like a, a physical indicator of improvement and like feeling better all the time and like constantly crossing new milestones for myself um, or that I've set for myself. And so it's just been really, really nice. And so putting all that energy into the physical health, I've still played a lot of video games in the past several months. And when Mario RPG came out, I don't know why I decided to, but I was like, let me just record everything and then see if I want to make guides just because everything like that game came out in what, like 95, 94. So I was like eight or nine and, or no, I think it was seven or eight when it came out. When did Mario RPG come out? Mario, oops. Hello, Adblock. SNES release date. 96. So I was eight years old. Game came out when I was eight. I've played it a dozen times since then. So I remember it really well. And I just was shocked at how easy the game was. And that's really why I didn't make a ton of guides, but I did make three. And as I was making those videos, I kind of felt that fatigue again of like, okay, this is not a lot of effort, but it's like, I'd kind of rather be doing something else at this point. Like I don't care, or I don't love this game enough to like make a whole set of guides. Like the game is so much more accessible now and it was already quite easy and pretty accessible uh, in the original version. But with the chain combo attacks and the team up attacks, um, the game just is really easy now. And so I was like, there's no need for guides. Like you, 
most people probably will not need a guide for this. A couple cryptic things, I'll put out a couple guides for those and we'll just call it a day. And I'm glad I listened to myself in that because even when I was just like editing through Premiere and doing the VO, I was like, eh, like this, this is whatever. Like I don't really need to be doing this. So that's a long way of saying I'm just going to stay on break until either Elden Ring DLC or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth come out. It's looking like Rebirth will come out before Elden Ring DLC, but the game rewards are in three days, I think. So we'll see. You know, I really do think we'll get something at the game awards. Um, and I'll be doing a stream of that. So, you know, please tune into that if you want to hang out during the game awards on Thursday, the 7th. Um, but yeah, point being, I'm just going to stay on break until either of those games come out. Uh, and then we'll get back into the swing of things, making guides. Um, I have been streaming a bunch lately, although not in the past couple weeks. But I did several streams. I actually have to write them down. I streamed a full playthrough of Lords of the Fallen, a full playthrough of Lies of P, and then we did a Bloodborne randomizer, which was a lot of fun, really challenging. I actually had to give up on a fight in the randomizer. Uh, my living failures fight in the clinic was randomized to a Braetos, Undead Giant from the Chalice Dungeons, Dark Beast Parl and Murgo's Wet Nurse. So I had to fight all four at once. It was downright impossible. And so I like unrandomized it, killed living failures, and then re-randomized it um, and just moved on. Uh, the other really crazy fight was my Shadows of Yarnum was Amygdala, Thumerian Descendant, and Moon Presence. And luckily, Amygdala's laser beam has friendly fire. And so... I actually felt confident that I could kill them because I had a couple attempts where I killed both Moon Presence and Thumerian Descendant, but um, I couldn't kill Amygdala. Like, I just had no vials left and would take a random hit. Um, but luckily, because that beam is friendly fire, you can't necessarily, like, force Amygdala to use it. But if you know what to look out for, like, when you start seeing the eyes pop out, if you just stand right in front of her, um, or him, I don't know if... I think it's a her... Um, it, the beam will like just track right in front of you. And if you could just line up the Thumerian descendant and moon presence right in front of it, tons of damage. That's how I ended up killing them. But it was at least like doable. You know, there was something there to help me out. Whereas with the living failures fight it was just ridiculous. Uh, but all those streams are archived. You can check them out on the live tab of my channel. In case you want to watch me play through those and suffer along. Um, I do give reviews of Lords of the Fallen and Liza P in the final uh, streams of those games. So if you want to know my opinions on those games, feel free to check out those streams. Um, and then I stream some Mario RPG. Um, so streaming's been doing pretty well. I also streamed uh, several weeks of speed runs for A Link to the Past, set a couple personal bests, which I'm really proud of. Uh, Got to get back into it. You know, these other games just came out and I'm trying to grind through them. Uh, before I get back into it, but it's been a lot of fun, like relearning a link to the past speed running and being able to stream that for everybody. That's been great. Um, so yeah, there's one other um, update that I kind of wanted to give, excuse me, and that is uh, I have deactivated my Twitter account. So at the end of all my videos, I always say, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. Now it's just join the Discord. Um, Twitter for me is just kind of turned into this like really gross cesspool of nonsense. And I was getting like all sorts of like ridiculous ads that are clearly being served to the wrong person. <laughs> like just a lot of political action committee ads, ads from foreign governments, like all sorts of just nonsense. And I decided I'm done with this. So the account is still there at SJ cage is still there, but the, the avatar is black and white. I, my final tweet is this account is I'm not using this anymore. Um, so if you would like to get in touch with me or interact, just join the discord. I'm in there every single day, pretty much. And the community is quite lively. Uh, so it's, it's very nice. Um, it's the folks who join in on the stream a lot of the time. So just talk about games all day. It's great. Um, but yeah, so I won't be on Twitter anymore. Uh, basically no social media aside from YouTube, if you want to call it social media and then, you know, my own discord server. So yeah, if you're trying to interact with me on Twitter, I'm not seeing it. That's, that's why. So join the discord. Um, but yeah, I did want to just take this opportunity for this final channel update for the year, uh, to just say, um, thank you very much. This has been a wonderful year for the channel. We hit a milestone of 60,000 subscribers um, just a couple weeks ago. So thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to this channel. And what's what's been really nice 
is that even though I've been on break for a couple of months, the subscriber number has only gone up. Like it has not gone down at all, which is really nice to see. I fully expect that once I get back into the swing of things, excuse me, and I uh, start uploading guides for either Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or Elden Ring DLC, it'll probably go down just because of spoilers and it'll go back up. But it's just been really nice that people are still finding the channel. They're still commenting on the videos. They're still asking for help. And I'm still responding to everything. It's not like I've, you know, s- just stopped interacting with the channel at all. Not, it couldn't be further from the truth. I'm still on it all the time. Just haven't been producing new content. Um, But it's just been really, really nice to see. And I can't thank you all enough for making this yet another great year for this channel. Um, You know, I've never really thought that I would have to take a a break of several months for health reasons. Like, I never really thought that I would do that. But it's nice to know that even if I do that, you know, the world doesn't come tumbling down and, you know, things don't go away. It's, It's nice. So thank you all so much. Uh, For the month of December, I'll be back in New York. Uh, So there won't be any videos unless something ridiculous happens that I want to upload something off my phone. But there won't be any videos in December, no streams in December after the Game Awards, which is this week. And yeah, I will see you all in 2024. So again, thank you all so much. It's been a wonderful year for the channel. We've done quite a lot of growth. And, um, you know, the the major game we covered this year was uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, and that's done really well. So thank you all so much. And if you subscribed this year, thank you so much. If you have joined as a channel member this year, which I'll bring up the list to make sure to thank everybody. Uh, thank you so much. I've even got new channel members on this break, you know, just from the streams, which has been super, super nice. Okay. So thank you very much to John Aldrich with 43 months, Joe Saunders with 30 months, Daniel Cockrell with 25 months. Happy two years, Daniel. Brian Brubaker with 20 months, Bagged at Money with 16 months, Greg with 14 months. Thank, uh, congrats on the one-year anniversary, Greg. X Lightning 84 with nine months, Har Fontanilla with seven months, Caroline Hewitt with five months, Cosmo for you, and Ant Helm or Ant Helm with one month each. Thank you all so much for being channel members. Uh, if you're new, welcome. And if you've been, you know, sustaining members, NPR likes to say thank you so much for all the support over the years. It means the world to me. But that's it. All right, I hope you guys have a great holiday season and a happy new year, and I will see you in 2024. Have a good one.